So, Tony, if you were Yamamoto, explain why you would sign with the Mets. This is maybe the easiest question you have ever asked me on this show. It's the greatest city in the world, right? It's right. the greatest borough in the city. Sorry, I'm a Queens resident. I truly believe that. You have this amazing melting pot of cultures, food, everything you could want right there in Queens. Easy access to Manhattan, too, if that's more your cup of tea. Plus, you have the Steve Cohen factor. Obviously, he is going to make a competitive offer, but it's beyond just the salary. You have all of these facilities at City Field that are improving by the week. Uh, so it, you're getting a world-class experience here. And plus, unlike the Yankees and the Dodgers, with the Mets, you are the guy. You will never be Derek Jeter in, in, across the way in the Bronx. Here in Queens, if you win the World Series, you're in the all-time pantheon of New York greats. So for a guy who apparently seems to be motivated, guys, mm. by winning and by that sort of spotlight, where else can you achieve that better than here? Love it. Yeah, all that and the most money. I just thought you could be like, well, the most money, but those are great answers That's too there. Easy. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. but it is true. Money <laughs> talks and, well, never mind. All right, Laura, explain why if you're the Yankees that you would sign, if you're Yamamoto with the Yankees, why would you sign there? Well, like Anthony said, he wants to win. Uh, I think there were some reports recently about how uh, he, Yamamoto really doesn't want to be in the little brother situation anymore. Now, we're not saying that the, that the Mets are a little brother uh, because they do have the money, they do have the financial capital to sign him, but the fact of the matter is that a lot of people are looking at this as some sort of gap year. They still have to bridge to 2025. So if you're looking at the Yankees and you're looking at the Mets and you're looking at a team that just traded for Juan Soto, you're like, hey, you know, this is a win-now team. This is the team that I want to be on. In addition to that, you get to learn from Garrett Cole. Uh, that's, I think, an invaluable resource. They have the money to, to spend. I think they're going to try to match whatever Steve Cohen will give them. And there is that pedigree. You are a Yankee. You wear pinstripes. You can be a legend in a way that maybe the Mets haven't quite built up yet in their franchise history. Yeah, you make a good case, which is kind of depressing me, quite honestly. <laughs> I, like, the Mets can't compare with the history, but... Make your own. Make well, your that's, own history. that's the biggest point that you said. I, we know a joke about How the inspiring. money. inspiring. Yeah, but, but why would you follow in the footsteps of others when you could create your own path? All right, Hannah, how about from the Dodgers? perspective why would Yamamoto want to sign with the Dodgers see I think I got too easy of an assignment because <laughs> if I'm Yamamoto I'm thinking there's a guy who had an opportunity to sign with literally any team and he had six seasons in the States to consider his options knowing that he was going to be the most if the coveted free agent of all time, and he picked the Dodgers. So I'm just going to say, I bet Shohei Otani did his research, and that when he came up with a very clear answer to go to the Dodgers. If it's good enough for Shohei, it's good enough for me. And there isn't a better guarantee in sports really mm. right now than the Dodgers. Over the last 11 years, they've either finished in first or won 106 games. And if you're you you, they always go to the postseason. They. They are going to go to the postseason mm. next year. They're going to go to the postseason the year after that. You, you know what I mean? Like with the Mets and the Yankees, you're talking about they're going to put so much around you. They're going to build. They're really ambitious. And I agree, they're both really ambitious teams. But it's tough to have any kind of guarantee in sports. And the Dodgers are about as good as it gets in terms of just making it to the postseason. But. Also the weather. <laughs> but. They only won one World Series, and, and that was like, it doesn't even count because it happened in the pandemic. Even the Mets, who haven't even tried for years, been in a, a World Series more recently than the Yankees. I love you. You know that. Laura, I love you as well. <laughs> the come on, you're right. The Mets are the best answer.